All right, so you're gonna have to stick with me a minute here. This is the High Elves, but it's not Ryder of Rohan. And in fact, Ryder of Rohan is here, but he's not playing the High Elves, nor is he the home team in this particular replay. But uh, let's get to it. Nonetheless, it is High Elves versus Cathay. Definitely an interesting matchup. Ryder of Rohan playing it. From the Cathay inside, sort of like the High Elves, but let's take a look at the actual High Elves first. Some War Lions here, definitely a solid choice against Cathay. Mobile, armor-piercing anti-infantry can be very disruptive and uh, tough to defeat for what they have, right? A lot of armored infantry and so forth. As long as you protect them and use them well, uh, we do have some White Lion infantry to back them up and some archers and archers with light armor. I always wonder, like, what do the White Lions think about their homies just, like, mounted heads on the elf shoulders so they just like eh, yeah he was too slow deserved it i like it like i'm genuinely curious like how they feel about that anyway uh fireborn here some archers anyway yeah it's looking pretty good pretty pretty high elfy very rushy i like it quite a bit uh tharian of course in the sky is gonna go out on the side here he's probably looking for an early soul quench down the side of some units a couple of jade crossbow shields we've got some jade warriors pen spears in the back four jade lancers uh Righteous lances up in the sky. Celestial lion and a dragon Shugengan of Yin. Looking for some ancestor warriors, storm of shadows. Interesting speed debuff and some summons. Summons can be quite good in certain circumstances, especially to like get an artillery piece or, uh, you know, summon on another high value range unit or it's generally be a nuisance. But a nice soul quench as foretold from Eltharian, as he kind of swings out and away from the Righteous Lances. Archers are going to start to take some damage there, it looks like, from the uh, Jade Crossbows, but infantry engagement getting underway. The White Lion should do okay here. Oh, I almost missed it. It's, uh, this White Lion, though, not doing so great as it gets sandwiched by Riders Riders, including the uh, Celestial Lion here. Eltharian's going to reinforce, try and stabilize the situation, but yeah, that White Lion gets terrified immediately and the lion uh actual lions here also taking massive damage i think they are, are they genuinely immune to psychology no they're not so they're also at risk of getting terrified here but uh, yeah high elves definitely taking some damage on that far side engagement can hurt pretty bad but it's returning some fire and uh yeah those jade lancers getting savaged by the fireborn as they start to make their presence felt nice charge here through the center get at those jade warriors it's really not anything that the Fireborn are scared of here in Melee. Maybe the Ancestral Warriors summon, but it was used kind of over here, maybe to pressure the Archers. It's going to have a hard time staying in contact with the Fireborn. We do see a Storm of Shadows there to slow down their speed. And the Righteous Lances to try and land for a little rear charge here with infantry support. They don't really get great contact, even despite the Storm of Shadows. They sort of landed their pathing a little bit too early, and now, yeah, forcing to readjust. Let's see if they can finally make contact, although there are now War Lions and White Lions in support for the Fireborn, so much less of an advantageous situation. Meanwhile, Altharian over on the far side there, just continuing to battle it out, fighting that Celestial Lion in melee, doing a great job of just winning. Um, yeah, definitely very solid combatant these days with the increased Griffin HP and self-healing, although it looks like he's going to throw that Apotheosis onto those war lions, help them sustain in this blob fight a little bit there. But uh, yeah, the other lions not faring so well, being routed away. Some others coming back from route. Should be able to get a nice charge in here. Another beautiful soul quench, hits multiple units. That's some nice value. And the archers staying disciplined, shooting at the longmas, even though they don't have great AP and the longmas have shields. A little bit of damage adds up over time against high value targets like that. So let's see what the longmas can do. We're gonna come in here, it looks like, and try and rear charge this unit of archers. The High Elves leadership, though, is definitely coming in clutch here as they've been able to get through multiple engagements, getting surrounded by the Cathayans outright and not being able to uh, route. Yeah, just holding that leadership. Elves, of course, and Cathayans, honestly, in play style, have many similarities. The one thing Cathay does have an advantage here is its gunline type builds, although. Wouldn't necessarily expect that from Ryder of Rohan. He's not. I don't know. He can play gun lines. Not to say that he couldn't, but. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he would. I just feel like he probably wouldn't, though, on the on a coin flip. Like, if you gave me a 50 50 chance, I'd say no. But, uh, anyway. 
yeah, Eltharian comes in here. Shugan is going to kind of countercharge a little bit, but the Cathayans just having a hard time holding their leadership as the High Elves still have a number of units still intact here. Archers, Fireborn, of course, some of these very tattered War Lions. And that's a little bit of healing on Eltharian's part, helping to sustain things. Of course, Cathay didn't bring any healing here. But also just, uh, yeah, I mean, the leadership, that extra little bit of leadership matters in these very close engagements, certainly. And looks like a, yeah, fearsome roar, Storm of Shadows upgraded to try and deep up the speed here as the Dragonblood shooting gun finds herself in significant trouble. Some uh, Jade Lancer is going to try and rush in to save her bacon, but immediately noting that it was Fireborn, they nope out of that to rear charge. And rear charge those White Lions. Has long spears. You might think would help. Their leadership is just not sufficient to be able to assist. Also, don't do that much damage, especially to physical resistance, high armor cavalry, high defense cavalry like these dragon princes, of course. Fireborn being the elite cream of the crop. Only very good defensive stats against something like that, so they do just fine plowing through. Big crossbows also take a nice hit, and is Cathay as good as they used to be? I think actually, legitimately, Cathay's probably dropped a little bit in the tier listings. They're still very good, don't get me wrong, probably A tier. Uh, maybe B, maybe they dropped to B tier, maybe. Just because a lot of other units have actually increased. High Elves are one of those that I would probably give them a solid A tier right now. Um, like, thinking through, they probably have a couple of matchups that are pretty tough. Empire can be a little bit tricky because of steam tanks, and, you know, there's some other matchups that could potentially be a little spicy, maybe Kislev. But uh, you have much better tools now, even just with the Fireborn change, that extra bit of elite AP really shores up one area that the High Elves lacked, and it just helps so much more their builds kind of function more correctly here, so a credit to Lord uh, Hernerfurter? I don't know. Uh, hopefully that's close here. 3,000 points on Eltharian, and lots of, uh, yeah, lots of value all across on those white lines. Good support value. One of them actually is straight pays for themselves. The archers also do a pretty decent job. War lions, again, Decent support value overall. Maybe not quite. Well, what are they, like 850? Um, something like that. That's that's pretty decent. Overall, uh, from Renner Rohan's side, I mean, certainly the Righteous Lance of Wajin tried their best and quite carry enough. Some of the Jade Lancers, one unit did quite well, but the other ones just get a little bit outclassed. Not really surprising against the Fireborn, but uh, likewise, White Lion Infantry. <clears throat> I mean, I guess really besides the Archers, maybe... Maybe in a clean charge against the Lions, they'd do okay, but there's not a lot of great targets for them to actually fight here in melee, so they actually have a little bit of a tough time. Hindsight 2020, obviously, but uh, four Jade Lancers is quite good in a lot of matchups, and I would definitely bring at least two, but here, I think you just need a little bit more anti-infantry killing power, although, I don't know, even, like, you know, trying to go long range with some crane guns probably wouldn't go great if uh, I always are just able to rush you down, so quickly and shut them down very quickly. I don't know. It's tough to say. Certainly not a Cathay and expert by any means, but like I said, the one thing I kind of foresee an advantage here, difference between the two, is Cathay's gun line is quite strong, so maybe you kind of work off of that and just try and go mass firepower. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.